Do you really know the rules of exponents? If so, go ahead and try these two questions. The first one is 4 to the third power times 4 to the fifth power is equal to which one? And notice that the bases are the same here. And for the second one, we have the powers being the same. We have 3 to the fourth power times 5 to the fourth power. Hmm, simplify that. Alright, as always, please pause the video and try them first. You did? Good. For the first one, I will tell you that the answer is A. Alright? And then for the second one, I will tell you guys that the answer is D. Alright? So now, let's go over this one right here first. Notice that when we have the same base, 4 to the 3rd power, right? And then times the same base, 4 to the 5th power, what we can do is just add the exponents, and we just keep the base the same. So this is just going to be 4, and then you just do 3 plus 5, and then that's it. That will be 4 to the 8th power. And here's the reason. Because when we have 4 to the 3rd power, this means 4 times 4 times 4. 3 of them. That's what it means. And then when we have 4 to the 5th power, you know it, this is going to be 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. So we have a total of 5 of them. And altogether, when we multiply them, we have 3 from here, and then we have 5 from here. All in all, we will have a total of 8 fourths multiplying. That's why the base stays the same. Alright? So keep that in mind. And now if you look at this one right here, when we have 3 to the 4th power times 5 to the 4th power. Hmm. Let me show you how we can do this right here first. 3 to the 4th power times 5 to the 4th power. When we have the same exponent, we can do the following. Just put the exponent on the outside, and then just pay attention to the bases here. And then we are going to multiply them inside. So 3 times 4. And the reason is because, usually, when we have a multiplication inside, and then to the exponent, we can distribute the exponent like this, like this. And right now we're just doing it backwards. Yeah. And then of course, once we have 3 times 5 inside, this is just going to be 15 inside and then raised to the fourth power. So that's why the answer is D. And then just to show you guys why this is really correct, here's the deal. When we have 3 to the fourth power, this means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And then when we have 5 to the 4th power, this means 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. But guess what? If you pair, 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 pair them up, we will get 15 times 15 times 15 times 15. And that's exactly why we have 15 to the 4th power. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, here's the question for you guys before you go. What's 4 to the 4 times 4 to the 4? And we have these options here. And I'll tell you that we have two answers. Go ahead and try this question and put down your answer in the description. No, I mean in the comment section. Alright?